Hello, good morning, my dear English community, and good morning to all the Germans who do speak and listen to English readings as well. This is me, Diara. Welcome on board. This is a little bit of a daily inspiration, so to say. I'm not uploading every single day. Um, but still, today I woke up and I felt like I want to do a little tiny reading. So wherever you are and whenever this reading finds you, this is for you, okay? This is a little bit of uplifting message, something to inspire you. There will be two paths to choose from. Okay, here we go. This is number one, number two. I don't want to speak too much in the beginning. I want you to just tune in to get a positive, uplifting message for you that you can take, you know, like when you go uh, grocery shopping, you go to the supermarket and you just, you know, like you pick and choose, you take what you want, unless you can afford it, of course, <laughs> unless you like it. Because, hey, should I tell you what, sometimes in life, if you imagine life as a supermarket, we don't always take what we want. Very often, we take what we are used to. Right, even though it's probably not what we want anymore, um, and that's the thing. And I could go on and on and on on this topic, but I'll leave that out. Okay, so this is your daily inspiration, um, something you are supposed you are chosen to hear today. The timestamps will be down in the description box. And if you ever want a personal quick reading, I do offer readings via WhatsApp. Um, they are meant to be short and brief, you know, like to the point, short question, short answer. Find all the information down in the description box. Okay, so let's get started. Pile number one. What is your message? What's your inspiration today? If you have chosen the very first pile. What do we need to know? What does spirit want you to know? Today? Okay, one card is flipping out. Okay, there is a big, big, big chance waiting for you. This is all about who serendipity, synchronicity, call it how you want to call it. This is about big golden opportunities. This is about progress and new beginnings. A new door is about to open up for you. You can probably not see it right now, but it is, okay? That's the thing. This is why we read cards, to get information about things that we can't see so far, right? So I see a lot of positive changes, support, uh, divine timing, okay? This is this card is all about divine timing and progress and success, okay? You will be guided towards um, your next level, I, I'm hearing, right? This is about acceleration. Spirit is about to lift you up and you probably can feel it already. Some of you, yes, some not. I mean, some people are very, very sensitive to, you know, like the powers, to the forces from the universe. Some people, you know, they have so much other things on their plate. Imagine you are single parenting woman uh, with two or maybe three childs, and then you have a full-time job as well. I mean, no wonder that you don't have that much time to to yeah <laughs> to tune in to your higher self right you, you get the point i feel so yeah your inspiration for today is that there are chances out there waiting for you big opportunities positive chances okay so i'm talking about chances and changes both of them right uh progress success it is also about letting go the old, which is the flip side, okay? And please um, know that, be aware that if you really, really, really want something new, chances are that you have to let go of something old before the new can come in, okay? Just know that. It could be that... For some of us, maybe not everyone, but probably one or two of you out there who are listening right now, 
you are still having a hard time and letting go of something and this something is probably just um, um, an assumption you know an exception uh, you maybe you expected something from someone maybe there was this situation you know like this opportunity and you put all your like all your eggs into one basket you had high hopes on this thing this endeavor this person this place or whatever and then you know like you eventually you found out that oh it's actually not as if I had imagined it to be I had that in the beginning I, I don't know how long you are following me and how much you are listening to my readings by the way if you want to subscribe please subscribe I would be more than grateful if you subscribe but the The idea is that you subscribe with this little wiggly bell, you know, because this is only then you will get information whenever I upload a reading. I just like yesterday I had a comment and someone said, hey, are you not uploading anymore? And I was like, what? I'm uploading every, I don't know, three or four days. I do upload, yes, both in English and German, but if you are not subscribed, first of all, and if you have not pushed the wiggly bell, then yeah, you don't get the notification, okay? So, um, coming back to the reading. So, I don't know whether you follow me or not, but I have been to Bali for three weeks. I treated myself with a very, very big vacation. So, from where I live to Bali, it is <laughs> like once around the world, so to say. It is like 18 hours um, uh, traveling time, okay? One eight, 18 hours, almost one whole day to travel, to get there. And I had high hopes, of course. And the very first two, three, four, five days, I was kind of disappointed because it was completely different from what I had imagined it to be. Later, I loved it. You know, like I loved it. I even <laughs> elongated my stay. I, I changed, I rebooked my flight and stuff so I could stay a couple of days longer probably to make up for the very first days where I don't felt so so great. But anyways, I just want you to know that um, sometimes we have high hopes and sometimes reality is like, uh-uh, not gonna happen. And the thing is, the you have to let go of these expectations then. Okay, because otherwise... There is no chance for things to evolve. Other card is the two of uh, the. Uh, excuse me, I'm saying two, but uh, it's actually uh, the ten of cups, which is all about emotional fulfillment. So I feel yes, you will be there one day. You will have the love relationship you're looking for. You will find your tribe, your soulmates, and I'm not just talking about this one. Uh, you know, like soulmate flame, uh, in like in Hollywood movies. I'm talking about real love, unconditional love, and not just to one single person, but rather than to a group of people. This is also about finding fulfillment in your job. You will find your purpose. You will follow your your path, right? Um, your mission, why are you here for? I see that happening for you. Also, probably, if you are still young enough, building a family, you know, um, giving birth to children, maybe not just one, maybe two of them. It depends, right? Everyone is different. Everyone is at a different space and place. Um, I read for a lot of people all around the world, different ages, so there's a different... If you listen to this reading and you're 28, this is something else than when you're 20, uh, 48, right? Or 55. What else? Pile number one. So big happy changes. I think the waiting period is over with. You are just one step um, away from... yeah closure and completion in a good way right in a good way um we have the nine of coins in reverse and the nine of wands in reverse so you know that tarot is counting from one to ten with the cards 
and nine is the very last number before 10 and 10 is always about closure and completion you know like something is coming to an end naturally it was supposed to come to an end it's like counting right 11 is supposed to come after 10 right agree so this is it it is supposed to go on like the 10 is not just you know like the end of everything catastrophe and I don't know what no it's just like 10 and then there's 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 and 15 it is constantly going and moving on and I feel like with these two nines in a row spirit is showing us that you are one step away one door away from closure and completion which is a good thing I love this this is a very good card to get, I feel. Okay, what else? Some inspiration and motivation for all of you who have chosen pile number one. Is there anything else? Any other good news? Stay in contact with your angels, okay? Get and stay connected with your spirit team. Ask your angels. If you have questions, ask them. You know, like meditate. Retreat a bit, take a big walk in the forest or maybe at the sea, depending on where you live. Um, look for signs, right? Have your eyes open. Um, I feel there's really a, a great opportunity waiting for you, pile number one. And yeah, you see, don't worry. Do you have no need to worry? Only good things will arise for you. And you need to trust and have faith. This is probably the main issue here, right? So pile number one people have faith, trust, know that only good news are on their way. And yeah, you are just one step um, away from your final <laughs> exam <laughs> or however you want to call it. I don't know. And maybe literally, I mean, maybe you just finished or you're about to finish university. I'm getting those kind of feedbacks too. Sometimes it's very, these messages are very down to earth, like very down to earth, right? Finishing university, giving birth to a child, you know, getting divorced, quitting your job. And sometimes the message is more subtle it's more something that happens in your in your head it's about your mindset it's about your beliefs it's about your patterns and habits you know what i'm saying so anyways i feel like this is a lot of inspiration this is a very good news a very positive reading and also you know um advice to take chances Take chances, make the best of it. Have your eyes and your ears open, pile number one, okay? So I leave this here. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share and like. I wish you a beautiful weekend or, I don't know, beginning of the week, depending on when you find this reading. Peace out and namaste. Pile number two. If you have chosen this... The second pile, okay? If you have chosen the second pile, what do we need to know for you? What's your inspiration? What's your message? So this is meant to be something uplifting, something inspirational, you know. Something that makes you feel good. Let's just see. What do we need to know? Ah, yeah success open to success and not just open also organize literally like the translation is organize your life to be successful so you probably i don't know is this procrastination maybe it is about procrastination maybe it's about holding yourself back um and the message is to step out of your own way right in order to be more successful maybe it's about getting a mentor or a trainer a teacher maybe it's about signing up for something really make room and space for what you really want invest a little bit of time and energy and money you know remember that everything has a price tag so let's talk about prices here, pile number two, but because I really feel like this is maybe what you need to hear. If you want something, it has a price. It's like shopping. 
okay? And everything has a price tag. Um, even if you hold yourself back, if you don't go for your dreams, if you, you know, like prefer to be in the background and not to speak your truth, it has a price tag as well. Because if you do something like that, you will constantly feel small and you will feel like something is missing. You will feel like probably life is not fair and that you deserve more and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, um, everything has a price tag. If you want the success, if you want people to listen and see, listen to you and to see you, to hear you, if you want to be, if you want to write a book, the price is to sit down and to write the book, <laughs> you know? So it sounds probably funny, but I'm, I'm serious here, right? So open for success and know that most likely it will not just happen like this. It needs discipline. It needs probably a certain strategy. Success is there. Success is what wants to come into your life right now. Okay, that's the message. But you have to be willing to, yeah, to do everything that needs to be done in order to be more successful, right? And sometimes it's about compromises. Right? Sometimes, yes, it's about compromises. Okay, what else? Pal number two. What's your daily inspiration? What's your message? Yeah, you are dreaming about abundance, more money, more easiness in your life. You want more love. You have big dreams. You have big hopes. Yeah. But the thing is, the card is in reverse. And that means that, mm, how can I say that? Uh, in a politically correct way. I just feel spirit wants you to know that, how can I say that? You should um, be a little bit more present and responsible for your own happiness. And maybe this is something that you will not get in the right way. And I'm sorry if that is the case. Maybe everyone else who's hearing that will get it in the right way. Um, so maybe what's needed is uh, feedback, honest feedback. Okay, that could also be something that would be important in order for you to accelerate to the next level. Um, so yes, dreams are not the problem. You have big dreams, you have big hopes. The only thing is, you need to organize yourself a little bit better and probably also, again, be a little bit more open for compromises. Especially if there are only temporarily, I would highly recommend to be a little bit more open, you know? What else? Pile number two. Yeah, you see, speaking about compromises and being a little bit more open for different ways and stuff um, and speaking about stepping out of your own way and so on. This is the pride card. So maybe, yeah, you should put your pride away for a while. That's tough, right? That's probably tough for some of you, which means this is exactly the right message. <laughs> when it's tough, yeah, it's hitting the, the nail on top of their head. And, th and that's what card readings are all about, right? They are supposed to give you messages that truly help you to move on. So let's get you one angel card message. Pan number two. Creativity and abundance. Dear one, you are being called to action. You see, this is exactly what I said before. You need to take care of yourself, guys. Pile number two. You have to be like a 100%. You have to take the responsibility like a 100%. No more excuses. No more delays. No more procrastination, okay? You are ready to accomplish great things and truly come into the fullness of who you are. It's a time for great creativity 
giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. Yeah. So do everything that you need to do, you know, in order to make it happen. Don't wait for anyone else to do it for you, right? Step out of the victim mentality. Step out of your own way. Just do it, okay? Just do it. What else? Plan number two. What's your message? What's your inspiration? Yeah, what are you ready for? That's your question. Give yourself a yes. This is ja, which is German, and the translation is yes. Okay? I am ready. Like, I, I make it very simple for you right now. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay? So, I speak in first person now, and you just have to fill out the blank. Okay? Are you ready? What I am ready now in my life is, fill out the blank. What I am ready now in my life is, what is it? Is it separation? Is it more trust? Is it more work? Is it more, or maybe is it less of something, right? I don't know. Ask yourself these kind of questions. And again, look at this, bottom of the deck, we have the compromise card. Mm -hmm. I felt that right away, even when it did not show up or in the beginning, but I kind of felt a compromise is needed. A compromise is the key to your problem, right? If you're facing a closed door right now, I, I really feel like a compromise is exactly what you need. Okay, pile number two. What else? Final messages for those who have chosen the second pile. Yeah, success is waiting for you. Happiness is waiting for you. More easiness is waiting for you. You know, um, the state of mind where we feel like everything is okay and we have reason to celebrate and... Yeah, we're just enjoying life to the fullest, um, which is also, by the way, something that's just temporarily, of course, for all of us. I mean, there's a time to play and there's a time to work hard, right? There's a time to, to retreat and then also there will be times when we really have to show up, to step up where we really have to make the effort. There's a time for vacation and holidays and dancing and barbecues and stuff. But then again, there will be times for over hours. And that's for all of us, like every single being, you know? I mean, think about a band extremely successful, like Coldplay or like Michael Jackson, you know, I mean, we all have different opinion about my, Michael Jackson probably, and maybe you have no clue who Coldplay is, but when they have a world tour going on, like for weeks and weeks and months and months, they have to deliver, you know, like they have to be on stage every single night, play the same songs, like songs every single night, the same songs, like from 20 years ago, Huh? Fix You, Yellow, and all the the blockbuster songs, you know, and they have to continue playing them, like in Singapore, in New York, Madison Square Garden, London, Wembley, Germany, you know, Italy, Madrid, Barcelona. It's the same thing every single night, but with different people. And I once heard um, Chris Martin, who's the the singer, saying that, hey, you know what, when I go on stage, I play as if it's my last show, right? Or in other words, I think he said it a little bit differently. He said it like, I play it for those who are here for the first time, as well as for those who are here for the last time. I think this is what he said. And um, I loved it. 
right? You have to give it all, even though for you it is probably boring, right? And the same shit every single night, but that's the job, right? And then after the world tour, after like maybe four, five, six months of traveling around the world, playing the same show every single night, then he comes back to Malibu where he lives with his girlfriend, Dakota Johnson, and having the best time ever, right? He can stay in bed until 12 a.m. if he wanted to, you know, maybe he has his own misui or massage therapist, you know, and maybe someone who cooks for him. But, you know, so what I want to say here in a prolongated variation is that there is a time to play and there's a time to work hard. And maybe, pal number two, for you, it's time to shift gears. Like from taking it easy, you know, to taking it more serious. That's at least what I'm getting. So I hope you could take something away from it. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Peace out and namaste.